Are we live? <laughs> the motherfucker. Is the this sat- happening? The satellite broke. This is currently happening. You know, I don't know what just happened right there. Uh, is it fixed yet? That voice you just heard is the, <laughs> the voice of our next guest. Good friend of the show. Just yep. good friend. Yep. Yeah, thank you. This dude is hilarious. He's yep. got a new film called Underwater in theaters tomorrow. But just give you a sample of what he does. It is fine to describe women as young. That's fine. That's a very good adjective. It's a great descriptor. You know, look at all those young women selling Girl Scout cookies. Good for them. Young business women in the making. But it is not okay to repeat the word young twice. You can't do that. You can't be like, look at all those young, young women. Too, why am I so out of breath during that bit? I this doesn't work bit. with boys either. You know, look at them playing soccer. Look at all those young, young boys. Can't do it. Playing soccer out there. Can't do it. <laughs> oh, I man. Love, I love, by the way, that clip and then into come see the horror thriller film Underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Which but, I, yeah, but it's still, I mean, wait, I'm hold still up. T.J. Miller's here, man. T. Hello. T. Hello. T. In the morning. Happy New Year. What, what made Happy you, New Year, you guys. Happy, Happy New Year, man. Year. Happy New Year. Nice jacket, man. Even on that clip, I noticed how well-dressed you were. And your, your hair was like flowing in the wind on that clip. Like, you thank know. you. Yeah, we, I, I always said wind going. We had wind machines yes. to make the flowing hair go. The Beyonce yeah. fans. Just to give you a, a, <laughs> right. a, an idea, if you think of the scene in Dirty Diana with Michael Jackson and he has the wind blowing in his face mm-hmm. you know, in, the, in the video Dirty Diana, <laughs> yeah. TJ gave me Michael. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's an awkward compliment. But I, know, I was going to say, <laughs> different compliment now, but appreciate I it. rock with that. <laughs> You know, you know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to dress better, but definitely, Kate, my wife is always like trying to up my game, uh-huh. and I just I can't get it right. You know, she'll yeah. give, she got me this jacket. She'll You're give me all this stuff. You're doing good today. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, is that a gold chain? You're looking good too. What's that? He always wears that chain. Yeah, of oh, course. Yeah. Well, not always this chain. Sometimes I have one that uh, is a lot smaller. Is that a Turkish cut chain? This is a Byzantine link. I acted like I know anything about gold. I know, right? Yeah, you saw that in jewelry, you know. But uh, uh, what's up with this film, Underwater? You said it's a, it's a so it's a thriller. It's it's actually return. I did this film called uh, Cloverfield a while ago, and uh, and it's sort of a return to that genre. And I again, I'm not doing a dramatic turn. This is not my like, guys. I can really act. I can't. <laughs> this ain't that uh, moment. No, no, no. Okay. And and it's still, you know, I'm doing the comedy in it, but uh, it's it's great because it's. It's like a new movie. Imagine doing a movie that isn't based on a comic book, a book, a previous movie. <laughs> this is actually like, you know, its own thing. So uh-huh. I, I'm excited about that because not that, but I, I'm kind of wondering a lot of these films that come out, I'm like, why? Nobody asked for this. You know, we uh-huh. don't need a fifth <laughs> installation of this franchise. Whereas this is like its own thing. It's completely new, completely. Uh, and it's going to be what's scary. It it's kind of a palate cleanser from all the awards uh-huh. stuff that's going on right you, now. Meaning it's never going to get nominated for an award? I hope not. <laughs> you hope not. You're not yeah, into the awards thing? Well, nobody's watching these awards shows, I don't think. But yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I didn't do Transformers <laughs> for Age of Extinction or I know everyone in here has seen it and loved it, the Emoji movie. Oh, that was huge. But, uh, no, <laughs> no, I don't, I, I, I'm not really into doing movies for awards. I like doing Films that people like to go to, you know, yeah. and have a good time. People online were like, why did you do the Emoji Movie? That is such a, I can't, well, it's for four to 12 year olds, mm-hmm. you know, and parents that are sick of their four to 12 year olds and want to put them in front, in front of a movie. Like, you know, I, I, so I'm not, I'm not as interested in doing a film where you get awards as doing a film that people love, yeah. you know, right. like yeah. Office Christmas Party. People come to me all the time. Ah, oh, that's so. They can't remember the title. They're like, uh-huh. "I love Christmas, Office Party Party." You know, <laughs> they don't know what it is. But I do a lot of films where they. Uh, I love. She's just not that into a league of their own. They can't remember. She's out of my league. Yeah, which I identify with because I work for the TSA. Yeah. At a ex- point. Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It definitely. I can identify because my wife is way out of my league. Right. And I, I is find. She? Yeah, absolutely. Have you seen Google a picture Google of his my wife? wife and can you'll I, can be I like, look at her like that? Why is 
is that girl uh, attracted Whoa. to that toddler bodied weirdo? <laughs> Who's you know? this girl that keeps showing up in all TV? Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me see what that you is. Call yourself a toddler body. That's me. <laughs> so, how, how you look? I, at- I look my best in a shirt, no pants, with a mustard stain. That's my best. That's a joint right there yeah, on the couch. It. On the couch? On the couch, right. <laughs> with a sippy cup. With a sippy cup. TJ Miller's performing um, at West Nyack. Yeah, not yes. East Nyack. Man, hey. I don't. I don't mean to do this here, but fuck East Nyack, okay? Whoa, I'm why? doing why? West. Why? That's right. I'm doing West Nyack. West Nyack only. Fuck East Nyack. Uh, Levity Shots live wide. this weekend and uh, yes. Pittsburgh Improv next weekend. But yeah, I'm loving. You know, we were talking a little Hold bit. Hold up, I'm oh, looking at your wife. I know. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Be quiet. I'm looking at her too every morning. Going, wait, what? <laughs> You can wow. leave now. Wow, yo, wow. She's, I know. Yeah. I don't know how, but I've known What'd her since college. What'd you say to her? Oh, because it's familiarity. Then she she known you for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, like, I'm used to this weird looking guy. Yeah. Uh, wow. No. Yeah. We we known each other for a long time, and uh, I don't know. I think it's so funny. People will be like, so uh, you guys, you you know, people will go, well, you guys must have a lot of fun. He must really keep you laughing. And she's always like, yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing. That's <laughs> Entirely while I'm with them. <laughs> just for keep, giggles. Yeah, I think it's just for the giggles. You laugh a woman into bed and hope that she doesn't, you know, fall out of it. So. That's what's up, man. That's a philosophy <laughs> we should all live by. Ow. Does she, like, uh, you've, you've always had some controversy that surrounded your name. When you go home and she sees these headlines, does she go, dude, what are you doing? No, because we've known each other uh, since college, so uh-huh. it's more both of us getting home and being like, what? <laughs> Why are people constantly from every angle going mm-hmm. at us? Because mm-hmm. it's both of us, you know? I mean, yeah. I think uh, that's another reason we get along so well is it's, we're a team, you know? Mm-hmm. So anything that happens, and she's a very famous installation artist, and she'll get you know, attacks from European press being like, this is bullshit, you know, she's just another American trying to come in. And and that affects me the same way. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of going home being like, why why are you guys talking all this shit mm-hmm. when she's trying to do something different? And uh, so, yeah, I think both of us just circle up and we're like, what the fuck? You yeah. Know? Do you get to the point where it's like, man, fuck it, I don't care what y'all think? I think you have to. Yeah. I mean, you can't. You know, if you guys read every Twitter message that was talking shit about the program, you'd lose your mind, probably, right? right? Crazy. And people go after individuals, and they're like, ah, this person doesn't even belong. It's like, you can't. You can't It doesn't matter. All you have to do is listen to people that come up and go, hey, man, I look forward every day to your show. That's Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Those are the people you should be listening to. Everybody else, it's like, they got something else going on in their fucking life that makes them. And there are so (laughs) many, now the internet has just allowed everyone to have an opinion. (laughs) no, not we don't have to hear everybody's opinion. You would never, you would not want to get on the subway and have all fifty people in the car be like, "Hey, I just want to tell you what I think about you." Uh-huh. You'd be like, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at your fucking phone. This is the only time I'll say this. Look at your phone. Be quiet. And I, I could care less. What, but if somebody, and this happens a lot in New York, if you're walking down the street and somebody's like, "Yo, I like those shoes," and you're like, "Thanks, man," and that's so great. That doesn't happen in Los. That happens nowhere else. Yeah. You've had it happen. All of us have had somebody be like hey i just want to tell you i like your style that's so fucking great yeah but no you never want to hear somebody be like i wouldn't have done that shirt with those shoes you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could have walked in here i could have been like yo that jacket is whack i like the chain you but, know, I, but I, I then i would have gone home and kate would be like why the fuck you say that about you yeah. <laughs> fuck sweat. just keep just just keep your opinions no no, no, no but no, i, I wouldn't do that though. no but i i like uh I, I i like that about new york actually there's a lot yeah. of people that are really positive and it feels like everybody here here is like if you're if you're doing it here i have to have respect for you everybody has respect because it, it everywhere else you know you can kind of skate by in new york you can't you cannot if if you're doing if you're able to live here you are on a fucking grind yeah, non-stop yeah, yeah yeah and i feel like los angeles you can just get in your car head to work <laughs> Be a mater d I'm of a, a weird vegan restaurant, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm a graphic designer who uh, moonlights as a graphic designer. And <laughs> Influencer. But, yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like you know, my joke is like, uh, if if you can make rent in New York, 
uh, you did it. Everywhere else is easy. In Cleveland, you can make rent on accident. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just you, see, you see somebody, uh, <laughs> oh, somebody dropped $20. Well, I just made rent, you know? <laughs> Here, it's just every day is like, got to get it done, got to get it done. And I, but I love that. That's why I left Los Angeles. I was so excited to be here and also to be a stand-up. You know, I feel like that's the other thing is everybody in New York, no matter what you do, you have to be at the top of your game. You uh-huh. just you have to do it well. Uh-huh. And if you don't do it well, then they ask you to leave. Yeah, you won't uh-huh. survive. TJ Miller is here, man. Don't forget, West Nyack. Not East Nyack. He's set tripping. Levity Live. Uh, that's tomorrow night at 7 30 and 9 45. Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. shows, and Saturday at 9 30 p.m. show. Mike on the line from Baltimore. What up, Mike? Mike, what up? Hey, what's up, family? Thanks for taking the call. No problem. Thank man. you, family. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> hey, TJ, man. Um, how do you feel about the way they kind of wrote you off? on uh silicon valley basically well, i felt pretty good about it because i so i thought it was i don't know if you saw the whole series but uh i thought it would be really funny to leave when my character was high on opium in the <laughs> tibetan opium den and uh yeah I, I said to them i said look i uh i think this is the funniest way to move on from this i also was moving to new york you know kate lives in new york i didn't want to keep working in los angeles and uh, so I moved for, because it was funny, I moved for love. And uh, yeah, they were really, HBO was great. They said, you know, do you want to come back and do a season finale? And I said, I think that that's, you know, the funniest possible thing. And then uh, when I left, you know, it became a, a dramedy. Hey, Mike, you, yes, where are you at? You in Baltimore? You could drive up to uh, West Nyack and see TJ. You, if you want to drive up, I'll give you tickets. Say word. We, is that, you yes. gotta do it. Like, like, is that I true? will say word. Word. word, word. That, that can happen. That can happen. Yeah, for sure. Okay, hold on the line, Mike. We got you. That was nice, yeah. Way. Yeah, you know, I'm not TJ? doing it. You know, TJ's TJ doing it. Just, yeah, yeah. I'll take care of it, Mike. Nice, yeah. Hey, man. While we got you here, man, I want to get some of your commentary on some of the latest celebrity wire. You with that? Yeah. Sure. Whether it's A-list celebrities, you're the biggest star in the world right now, or D-list has been Loser! You're a loser! You make me sick, you big baby! All the gossip, rumors, and news is right here in Celebrity Wire. All these famous people are doing some crazy things. Sounds like good gossip to me. On Sway in the morning. All right, man, TJ. Ah, you know, you're a celebrity, but I just see you as the homie. But uh, Yeah, well, yeah. we've been through this for a long time. Yeah, I love coming through. It's you, so you Caroline's broadcast yeah, one time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Bro, by the way, we got another Caroline's broadcast next Friday. Yeah? Are you around? No, he said he got another show. I'm working, yeah. Oh, I'll be in show. Pittsburgh. Okay, the PGH. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't pay him when he did ours. Go get That's your right. money. That's right. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. That's right. I'm getting sets for $25 in the city. Yeah. <laughs> Paying that uh, Cleveland rent. Yeah, get, that's right. Getting that Cleveland rent. <laughs> $5 extra. <laughs> Dinner. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right, so Tracy, what you got? Okay, so Lizzo, who we all love, had a humongous 2019 um, time called her Entertainer of the Year. She also just made history. She's going to be the first woman ever to headline Bonnaroo in their 17-year history. She's also the face of body positivity. She made that pop. So on that note, Jillian Michaels, celebrity trainer, friend of the show as well, Uh she did an interview with um, BuzzFeed's AM to DM, and she commented on Lizzo's body. Listen to this don't get to see of bodies that we don't get to see being celebrated and um, why are we celebrating her body why does it matter that's what i'm saying like why aren't we celebrating her music because it isn't going to be awesome if she gets diabetes well i want to ask you i'm just being honest like wow wow i didn't didn't think that was going to go right Right. to there (laughs) just diabetes (laughs) Why Why are we talking about her health? I mean, you know, she might get cancer. Well, she has a great body and uh, really good music. Yeah, that's right to diabetes. Yeah, yeah, so she attempted to backpedal. She put out a bit of a statement. She said, as I've stated repeatedly, we are all beautiful, worthy, and equally deserving. I also feel strongly that we love ourselves enough to acknowledge that there are serious health consequences that come with obesity. Heart disease, diabetes, cancer, to name only a few. I would never wish these for anyone, and I would hope we prioritize our health because we love ourselves and our bodies. Girl, Brian. Well, as an individual with a toddler body, I yes. do want to say. <laughs> what do you want to say about that, TJ? <laughs> you know, I, th- I think it's, it's a toss-up. It's like you don't want diabetes, but you also want to enjoy... A pizza every two yeah. hours. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else you got? <laughs> so over the holiday, um, Leonardo.
DiCaprio, he was kind of going back to his Titanic days because he saved someone that fell off a yacht. So there was a guy. So a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A remix to Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. He also accidentally bumped into that person on his own yacht. <laughs> he jumped in. So Oops. here's the story. There was a guy, this 30-year-old man. He um, is actually a worker on a Club Med yacht, and he was drinking a bit too much. And somehow, you know, he went overboard and he was actually like treading water for 11 hours. What? Now, Leo. Take your time, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> he just had to relax. He had to finish his seven course meal. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> and he was going to, right. I'll be right down. Just keep treading. <laughs> now, this guy, he was really lucky because Leo happened to be in the same area in St. Bart's in his own separate boat with oh. his girlfriend. Oh. And he heard over the radio that there was a man overboard that was in distress. So it was actually his idea to go further out into sea to find this guy. It took an hour, but he found him and he pulled him up from the water. And just held him on the front of the boat. (laughs) Arm spread. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. (laughs) And said, don't ever let go. (laughs) He was singing it. The guy was like, throw me back in the water. (laughs) I didn't care for the film. (laughs) Yo, TJ off the hook. (laughs) Can you imagine what the guy must have thought, thought right. when he saw DiCaprio. Of all reaching, people. Hey, bro, give me your hand, bro. Give yeah. me your hand. Could you imagine that? Yeah. Do you think he did have a moment where he's like, I like Shutter Island or something? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, got to say, love your basketball diaries anyway. Thank you for saving me. Wow, man. And he uh, got fed real well, too, when he brought him onto his boat. He got fed real well. Yeah. All part of that seven-course meal, TJ. Was yeah, that's up. exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Tracy he G. He got fed real well. Well, of course Absolutely. he did. Chris- Come on in. Dry yourself off. Here's caviar. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be fine. Uh, Christian is on the line. Guess where Christian is from? Cleveland. Cleveland. What up, Christian? There you go. How's the rent in Cleveland, Christian? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Love the show. Uh, TJ, I just wanted to respectfully say, hey, fuck you. Because Thank you, you man. Right That's a really, and you know, I want to say, uh, just as we were talking about the positivity <laughs> and being nice to people, I think it's great. And I also am positive that you're doing well in life and that you're feeling really good because to take time out of your day to call and say fuck you uh, really tells us a lot. And I want to say now, I feel sorry for your mother, mm. your father, <laughs> uh, all of your extended yeah. family. Mm. And uh, yeah, take it easy, man. Have a happy new year. <laughs> you all right? You're coming to Cleveland next. When am I? <laughs> <laughs> it's, e- it's either it's either to perform or get my ass kicked in a parking lot by you. No, no, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come see you, TJ. You the shit. No, all right. Thank you so much. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'll be at Hilarities Never now that I've spoken with you. I'll be downtown great, Cleveland great. Never. Hey, Christian, you're a citizen, man. Sway the <laughs> wow, your fans are interesting. Um, I don't know. I also think that guy was trying to open the conversation uh, in a positive way, but I never I do well with just being like, hey, I just want to tell you something. Fuck you. <laughs> and also, uh, when will you be coming by? Because I'd love to see your act. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> TJ Miller. TJ! Guys, thank you so much. I Happy gotta ask one thing though, as a, as a Deadpool fan, because oh, okay. we ran into Ryan Reynolds recently, and I know nice. you probably get at this the, everywhere the, you go. At the, what with the Six Underground? The Six Underground yeah, premiere for Netflix, yeah. and I, he already knows what I'm gonna ask because they just announced that Deadpool is being integrated into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Okay. After X Force, also. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You know. What, what you, you want to know? So underwater. Obviously, is he gonna be returning for part three? I don't know, but so what I said, and of course the media like exploded about this, but uh, I hope that if they do a third one, that it's it's good, you know, and that it's as good as the first one and the second one. But I always worry, it's, you know, that's why Underwater is so exciting because it's a new property. It's not a part of a franchise, um, but people love Deadpool. So Deadpool 3 would be great, you know, give people what they want, just like I was saying. But um, I would like to continue doing stuff like Underwater where it's just new. It's just a completely new thing. Um, but yeah, as far as the Marvel Universe goes, Deadpool is definitely my favorite. And I, I'm not biased. I really think like, you know, mm-hmm. it's just so, so good. It's so funny. It's so irreverent. It's so different. 
So that that's my favorite stuff to do. But yeah, I think there'll be more to come for sure. Yes. If you want to see them um, tonight, I mean, excuse me, you want to see them tomorrow at seven thirty nine forty five, Saturday at seven p.m., nine thirty p.m., and Sunday at seven p.m. Go to West Nyack Levity Live. T.J. Miller, he'll be there. He has, he's headlining. Hey. That's okay, and Underwater is in theaters tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's why it sends. It's at not TJ Miller, Teenage Millionaire on Instagram. TJ Miller does not have a website.com. Okay. And uh, see me in West Nyack, not East Nyack. We have nothing <laughs> left to say.